coming up next. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show that's cool and fly too. A1 Forever Sports. I am he, Chris Tip Moore. Why well, sort of for less where you can have more with the vision and be generational because it's always time to be. So I was sitting back and I was having a thought about Atlanta sports, of course, because I'm always thinking about Atlanta sports, focusing on the Atlanta Hawks in particular. And I was thinking about the Hawks coaching history and I had a thought. Who are the top five coaches in Atlanta Hawks history. So did some research and composed this video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you like and subscribe. A1 Forever Sports, the top five head coaches of the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks officially fired coach Nate McMillan back during the All-Star break 2022-2023 season. He finished with a record of 99 wins, 80 losses at 55%, 11 wins, 12 losses at 47% in the playoffs. Remember when Nate took over for Lloyd Pierce? Well, Nate went 27 and 11 after taking over the team from Pierce, and that's why the numbers, you know, seem subjectively pretty good. Honorable mention, Harry Gallatin, 1962, to 1968. Gallatin was a former player himself. He spent nine seasons with the New York Knicks and one with the Pistons in the 1950s. As a coach, he coached the St. Louis Hawks. Harry had a record of 111 and 82, 57.5% in the regular season, and he was 12 and 11 in the postseason at 52.1%. Unfortunately, Harry was unable to get the Hawks over the hump. Gallatin was able to coach Hawks legends like Cliff Hagen, Bob Pettit, and Lenny Wilkins. Gallatin would start the 1964-1965 season as the Hawks head coach, but after starting 17 and 16, Gallatin would be replaced. He only coached two full seasons. Now let's get into this top five. Larry Drew, 2010 to 2013. Larry Drew is a former player drafted in the 1980s by the Detroit Pistons. He played 10 seasons with multiple teams. Drew was an assistant coach on the Atlanta Hawks in 2004 through 2010. The 2010-11 season, Drew would become the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks. Drew had himself a record of 128 wins and 102 losses at 55.6 win percentage in the regular season. In the postseason, he was 10 for 14 at 41.6%. Larry was a decent coach, but in three years, his teams only made it out the first round just once. Drew coached players like Joe Johnson, Josh Smith, and Jeff T. Larry Drew won at least 40 games a year but with the talent, he could never rise to grace. At the end of the 2012-2013 season, the Hawks would move on from Drew to number four on my list. Drew is currently an assistant coach for the Los Angeles Clippers. Mike Budenholzer, 2014-2018. Budenholzer spent 17 seasons in San Antonio as an assistant for Coach Pop. Coach Bud came in and changed the culture in his tender as the Hawks head coach. From Mike Woodson to Larry Drew, the Hawks needed some new hope. And Budenholzer, he went 213 and 197 in the regular season at 51% and 17 and 22 in the postseason at 43.5%. In 2014 and 2015 season, he would win coach of the year. Under Bud, the Hawks reached the Eastern Conference Finals. Four Hawks starters made the All-Star team and a 60-win season. Bud coached Paul Millsap, Al Horford, Kyle Korver, 
and Jeff Teague, just to name a few. When Coach Bud took the Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals, it was the first time they had been since 1970. Unfortunately, after the sweep in the Eastern Conference Finals, never making it past the semis again, and also the terrible 2018 season, the Hawks were ready to move towards a rebuild, and Coach Bud and the Hawks organization didn't see eye to eye. Eventually, the two sides would agree to move on, and the Hawks would hire then coach Lloyd Pierce. Coach Bud is currently a free agent after being fired from the Milwaukee Bucks, even though he already won a championship with the team just a couple seasons ago. Lenny Wilkins, 1994 to 2000. Wilkins loved the Hawks so much, he became the coach. Wilkins played for the St. Louis Hawks and averaged 15.5 points, five and a half assists, and five rebounds. The Atlanta coach produced 310 wins and 232 losses in the regular season, 57.2 win percentage. Wilkins coached players like Dominique Wilkins, Mookie Blaylock, Dikembe Mutombo, Steve Smith, and Stacey Ogman. Lenny helped the Hawks win the Central Division in his first year. He was named Coach of the Year with a 57 and 25 record. He also took the Hawks to the playoffs five out of six years. Only problem is Wilkins was 17 and 30 in the playoffs, 36.1 win percentage. He just couldn't find a way to help the Hawks to the conference round or beyond. After a 28 and 54 record for the 99 and 2000, the Hawks would fire Lenny Wilkins. And from then the Hawks would go into 2008 2009 year before another winning season. In 2021, Wilkins was named one of the 15 greatest coaches of all time. Richie Guerin, 1965 to 1972. Guerin took over for Harry Gallatin after the Hawks started 17 and 16. Richie is the longest tender and also has the most wins in Atlanta Hawks history. Seven years, 327 wins, 291 losses, at 52.9% in the regular season, 26 and 34 in the playoffs at 43.3%. In the seven year span, Guerin took the Hawks to the playoffs every year. Richie Guerin coached the Hawks in St. Louis and Atlanta. Get this. Garen was a player and a coach simultaneously in five seasons for the Hawks. He averaged 13 points and about three rebounds and four and a half assists. Garen played for the Hawks six of his seven years in St. Louis slash Atlanta. Teammates and players who he coached were Lou Hudson, Paul Silas, Will Bellamy, and Pistol Pete. Garen took the Hawks to the Western Division Finals four times and the Eastern Conference Semifinals twice. Unfortunately, Richie Garen was unable to get the Hawks a championship trophy. Garen went into a front office job with the Hawks after the 1971-72 season. He is currently 90 years old and his birthday is May 29th. Well, we've made it. The number one coach that I have ranked in Atlanta Hawks history. Mike Fratello, 1984 to 1990. Fratello was an assistant coach for the Atlanta Hawks for four years. He even had to take over for three games as coach when Hubie Brown was fired. The Hawks hired Fratello as head coach in 1983. Fratello has a record of 324 wins and 250 losses. 56.4 percentage in the regular season. Fratello had great players such as Dominique Wilkins, Spud Webb, Doc Rivers, and Kevin Willis, just to name a few. Fratello took Atlanta to the playoffs five out of six years. Fratello had the Hawks in the top 10 in offensive and or defensive rating a total of five times. He was 18 for 22 with a 45% win percentage as well. So what was the problem? Problem here is Fratello and the Hawks 
would always run into a challenge. They would run into Larry Legend and the Celtics twice in the semifinals. They would also lose to Isaiah Zeke Thomas and the Detroit Pistons in another semi round. The Hawks now have their 15th head coach in franchise history. Quinn Snyder has signed a five-year deal to become the Atlanta Hawks head coach. Will Snyder crack this top five list? He is currently 13 and 15 in the regular season at 46% since taking over the position in February, 2023. Quinn Snyder will have a full season as Atlanta Hawks head coach and we're expecting big things. He has a philosophy that we're hoping gels with the team. Drop a comment below, and if you like this video, like and subscribe to A1 Forever Sports, where we be generational because it's always time to be. We don't settle for less when we can have more with the vision. The show that's cool and fly too, A1 Forever Sports with Chris Tip Moore. Until next time, be right back at y'all. Peace and blessings to you. I'll holler. Damn.